everything is affected when uh, when you are a single mother and then when a tropical cyclone comes in it's even more devastating for them if they are affected by disaster then most likely they would migrate or there is a potential for trafficking and if the trafficking issue in the area is already very high then it could go even higher Having these kinds of products would increasingly help us. Having a gender perspective uh, for vulnerability maps would increase uh, on how we look at things, on how we decide, on how we influence the decision makers, on how we support the responders. So if we're able now to bring in the gender-based vulnerability layers into the hazard maps, then we could say that we would now like to focus our targeting in these areas because they have more single-headed households. If you are able to look at this information, then you would know that when you are now going to prepare to respond, that the priority would be on these specific uh, um, areas. Either it would be on nutrition, or either it would be on food, or either it would be on shelter.